that will last the season, right? They ever get into a pinch again, they know they've got Grady Dick to rely on, they've got Jalen Wilson to rely on, they've got DeJuan Harris, they've got McCuller. They've got some now, they're gaining that experience in real life situations. Absolutely. Jayhawks with the ball first, dressed in their home white. Harris just glides right in. Layup wouldn't go, and the rebound goes out of bounds to the Thunderbirds. Boy, great read from Harris. He was waiting to see what the hedge man was going to do. The hedge man retreated with K.J. Adams. Did everything right, but just couldn't get the finish at the rim. Harris, by the way, only averaging 11 and a half assists per turnover. Unbelievable. <laughs> a three to one is good. Yes. Two to one is good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's incredible. 23 assists, two turnovers on the year. Is the reason he's a national championship winning guard. Rick Allen gives it up. This is the guy that Kansas is most concerned with, Jones, and a nice slip by Spurgeon. And you, you said it. Jones attracts a lot of attention. He had 28 points on the road to New Mexico. So you send two at him. You got to have that weak side rotation. That's something Bill Self wants to see from his group. Ball screen defense improved. There was an example of it not quite there. Exactly. So the starting five for the Jayhawks. Same way in the last few games. Grady Dick had it blocked at the rim. Here comes Jones. Butler for three. In and out. No good. And here comes Jalen Wilson. Dick gets into the paint. Counted in one. Well, this kid can do so much more than just catch and shoot. Really good job. Understand teams are going to try and run him off the line. Seeks out the contact and is able to get it up off the window. You know, it was interesting talking with Norm Roberts, who again is coaching here today in the absence of Bill Self. And he was talking about Grady Dick, and I said, where did he develop that shot? And he said, actually, when we start, first started recruiting him a long time ago, he was more of a slasher, like you just saw. He's really developed that shot over the last three years. Yeah, I love it. He doesn't just camp out at the three-point line. He cuts, he moves, he drives, and of course, you know, he can shoot it. And there's Jones who can shoot it as well. Oh, good hands in the corner. Grady Dick still fighting for the ball. Who's got it? Jones. And that's 10 seconds. Now, Southern Utah is going to have a beef here saying, wait, possession changed. But they're not going to win the argument. No. There's 16,300 people that are arguing against <laughs> Todd Simon on that one. Even though I think he might have a point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But good effort from Grady Dick. Just jarring that ball loose, diving on the floor. Something else that Kansas is wanting to see tonight is execution, Dave. Running their offensive sets with purpose. Shots just not falling right now for KU. They're getting good looks, though. Here's Jones for three. Long rebound. And finally settles into the hands of Allen. Jalen Wilson bothered that one. You got to give Southern Utah credit. They're falling all over the ball right now. And a three-pointer by Jones. Those are those kind of 50-50 loose ball scenarios where Kansas has got to find a way to come up with those more often than not. Because oftentimes, you recover those kind of loose balls, you're going to give up open shots because bodies are on the ground. Wilson for three. Playing with a lot of confidence. It seems like he's improved in almost every facet of his game. I couldn't agree more. And I thought Bill Self said something mentioned before the year. That Jalen Wilson understood that there were better options to shoot the ball with Christian Brown and Ochai Amaji on the floor last year, so he deferred to them, and it's not the case this year. Allen has it poked away. Here comes Wilson. Dick for three. That lead didn't last long. That's how fast it can happen. I think that's where Kansas is really good. Defense into offense, playing fast. Another turnover. Grady Dick looking.
looking for open space and another three. You think the fans like this play? <laughs> yeah. Goodness. So he's picking up where he left off in the last two minutes, 22 seconds against Duke. Butler. Nice move by Tevian Jones. That's Jones has got five points in those little scramble situations. Grady Dick was trying to take off and run the wing. The ball wasn't secured yet. Can't run until you corral that rebound. Whoop, McCullough thought it. Jawan Harris was going to cut down the baseline. He didn't. Right now, the Thunderbirds trying to stay with the Jayhawks, who are nailing three. Come to college, he's got to find that role, but he's got to balance that confidence and aggression with intelligence. Right Nick, you and I were talking before the game about Grady Dick saying we both kind of had the misconception that he just came in as a, just a shooter, right? Yes. Oh, a whole lot more than that. He's a slasher. I see his hands defensively. He can still get better. He can get bigger. He can get stronger. But wow, what a debut. Yeah, and he knows how to play. He knows how to score. He knows how to move. Again, I just love the shooters that can cut off the ball. And that's what he can do. A spin move that will not go. And there's Grady Dick on cue. Here comes Wilson. And one. I got two words for you, Dave. Wait room. <laughs> that is a grown man finish. First of all, great lead pass from Kevin McCuller. And then Jalen Wilson goes through not one but two. Southern Utah Thunderbirds. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take a wild stagger. I don't think Southern Utah saw any of that against Bethesda College. I think it's a pretty good guess. <laughs> it, it, just the transition with this team. When you play small, yeah. like Kansas is playing with KJ Adams at the five, you better play fast. And that's what Kansas is trying to do. away there was a foul there they didn't call and the ball thrown out of bounds a rare turnover for Dewan Harris yeah, just his third of the season it's an excellent steal if you're loose with the rock around Harris he is mm -hmm. that's what happened there but just got a little too sped up to a lot one there Harris is gonna stay in and play alongside Bobby Pettiford I think Bobby Pettiford's been tremendous in his own right mm -hmm. as that backup point guard coming in running the team Just making simple plays. He's eight for ten from the floor in the season. He's got 12 assists three turnovers Keeping it simple Ernest Uday is also checked in they're gonna shut the uh, check the shot clock It was set at 20. They're gonna reset that Ernest Uday has checked in these kinds of games are really important for Uday, Dave. He, mm. He's really got to continue to grow, as is Edgefer. When he comes into the game, we still need a viable five-man post presence to emerge. From the wing, no good. McCuller with a rebound. The alley oops, more oops than alley <laughs> so far. There it is. Oh, there it was. No, they didn't call the foul the first time. They finally got Healy the second time. Well, this is a great play from Kevin McCullough Jr. just couldn't get it to go down and big part of what Kansas wants to do are those lobs to the rim been a little errant early but the thought is right I think Kansas needs to 
There's a fine line between playing fast in the half court and playing too fast. I think they're a little too sped up right now in the half court. And it's led to some turnovers. Jayhawks, remember, trailed in this game 7-2. to two. They've been on a 12-2 run since then. There's a wide open look that time by Fawcett. Fawcett can do that. Pick and pep, pick and pop, lefty, can stroke it. It's a challenge for a guy like Ernest Dude to get back. Patterford, a little fall away. That's where Ude needs to get in, get position for rebounds, right? Absolutely. Another three, they're starting to heat up now. Harrison Butler from the outside. Again, the number one order of business, and we had Coach Roberts at shoot around. What he's worried about, he immediately said the three-point line. Got to run these Southern Utah shooters off the line and make them uncomfortable. So far, they're three for six from beyond the arc. McCuller, no. Again, no one there for the offensive rebounds. Well, they're bringing Fawcett out, and Uday wasn't there defensively. And Norm Roberts going right back to KJ Adams. That pick and pop, it's just a tough cover day for Ernest Uday to hedge and recover on the three point line. Wilson, and they backed off of him, and he said, Thank you. And he can make that shot. Yeah. Wilson already eight points in the game. This makes it look easy. He's averaging 22 a game, leading the Big 12. Butler backs in on Pettiford. Southern Utah operating with comfort in the half court, getting the ball where they want to get it to, getting the shots that they want. Easily picked off by Allen. It'll be a timeout for Norm Roberts. Not happy about that. And the T-Birds are all of a sudden up by a half dozen at the 11-20 mark. Addition points for Southern Utah. Also, part of the liability for Southern Utah has been center Jason Spurgeon, who is not sharp playing beneath the rim. He's a defensive liability, especially on the ball screen defense, and that's what KU has been able to exploit. That's why he has two fouls in the first five minutes of the game. And Jay from the corner. That's no good for Rice. Uh, KJ Adams back in the game, going to be able to defend this pick and pop. Fawcett was able to hit two threes when Ernest Uday was on the floor. Now KJ Adams going to switch this to recover a little bit easier so he can defend the arc. Long rebound comes to Grady Dick. So no Jalen Wilson on the floor. It's where Harris probably got to get busy. Okay. There you go. Like that? Just like that. Was he listening to you? He must have been. <laughs> that was pretty nice. Here, Cage Adams can switch it. You switch everything when you got the small lineup on the floor, and that allows you to really guard the three-point line. Brady Dick got a hand on that one. He still gets to Healy. That's off target. And look at Grady Dick in there rebounding. Baseline. Ooh, that was a quick first step, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It went right around the defender. Grady Dick already in double figures with 10. Going to be a foul on Grady Dick. Even though it looked like Drake Gallick kind of stuck his legs out. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. On the other end, watch Grady Dick. He's a good shooter, so you got to crowd him. This is a quick step. Just that little shimmy shake freezes the defense enough 
But make no mistake about it, it's his ability to shoot the ball that opens up that drive for him. Okay, I want to be clear on this. I'm not comparing him to Larry Bird. I'm not. <laughs> okay. But I want to tell you a Larry Bird story that's okay, hilarious. Like Scott Hastings was playing for the Pistons, right? And they're getting drubbed by Larry Bird and the Celtics. And so Chuck Daly put Hastings in to guard Larry Bird. And Larry that's says to Chuck, Chuck, he can't guard me. So he says, I know, but what else am I going to do? Nobody else can either. <laughs> So he says, all right, Scooty, I'm going to do you. I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do before I do it. And so he says, doggone, if you didn't get the ball in the corner, you say, I'm going to I'm going to jab step left. I'm going to go around you to the right and I'm going to go baseline on you. Ready? And then he would do it. And then as he's going down the court. He goes, Scooty, I told you what I was going to do. So that kind of just that play kind of reminds it, me right? of that. Right? Yeah. Hey, listen, I'm going to shimmy. I'm going to take a baseline and lay it in. <laughs> Alley oops, not working tonight. Well, you said it. That's three or four turnovers yeah. on Bobs. Yep. And Kansas struggling taking care of the ball. Already six turnovers. And they had 15 the other night against Duke. And you would think playing guards, the ball handling would be okay. And one of the points of emphasis today during shoot around was guys look we need to execute on offense we haven't been doing that we need to, when we run a play we're running it to score there's Adams pulling his way in good early post up from KJ Adams sprint down the floor watch him run so he's gonna run down he's gonna start to go to work in that post Kevin McCuller on time on target Quick move, strong move. The quick post-ups are hard to deal with defensively in transition. Jones being guarded by Pettiford right now. Now the switch. Switching has really helped defend the three-point line. You got to communicate. But Tevian Jones can rise up like that. Didn't catch anything. And he'll be here in air ball for a while. Looks like more of an emphasis of getting it inside. Back to back, good post entry passes from Kevin McCuller Jr. Who says small ball fives can't score in the post? Yeah, exactly. AJ Adams. Jones counted at one, and that's a foul on MJ Rice. And we got a timeout. 7.58 to go in the first half. Through the contact, gets a foul, and then again, just a little duck in, and KJ Adams making good, quick moves. And he may not be tall, but he plays taller than at 6'7. He's really strong, really explosive. Tevian Jones. Completes the three-point play, makes it a two-point lead for the T-Birds. By the way, are from Cedar City, Utah. I'm not exactly sure where that is, but I think it's in southern Utah. Yes, would say that's a safe guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grady Dick. How about Grady Dick tonight? He's got 13 first-half points. Almost half of the Jayhawk effort. Whoop, 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 whoop. Butler gives it up on the wing, no good. Grady Dick tips it to a teammate. And here comes McCuller. Ah, uh, that was telegraphed. The seventh turnover for the Jayhawks. And there's Jones creating a little space. He is a long, active, aggressive, confident scorer. Uh, foul first, no basket. Big time football game coming up tomorrow as the Jayhawks take on the Texas Longhorns. Hey, there's a number to get your tickets. Close to a sellout, but there are still a few tickets remaining. And you'll want to be there. 2.30 tomorrow afternoon. Jayhawks already bowl eligible. 
Trying to finish strong. They've got two games remaining. This is the last home game, though, as Jalen Wilson comes around the corner. Just lethal. When he is driving with his right hand, he is a handful. And we're talking about a good post move. Fala was inside the mini arc. been really sweet. He's got that little right-handed underhand move. I like it. To find the shooters. Good hustle back from Grady Dick. He fell down, got up, sprinted back. for a foul and a flush by Barnes another turnover for KU got to settle in on this end of the floor seven first half turnovers Brady Dick needs to run back in. He was hanging out and gives up a three. That's where you got to have guys sprinting back mm -hmm. and cleaning up everything. And another timeout for Norm Roberts. Four guards, it's a lot of guard heavy actions, but they love to throw the ball inside. David McCormick, those kinds of guys in the past as a bookie, and you just don't have a presence, and it's making it tough. Court right now. He just has not shot it as a Jayhawk. On his shot. is way well there's a yes and a no with yes <laughs> that's exactly right here's the yes of the yes of doesn't get looked at is field goal attempts southern utah has taken six more shots that's because of turnovers southern utah also has more offensive rebounds as well you know what i like seeing about that huddle we just saw Two guys were doing the talking, Dewan Harris and Jalen Wilson. I think we've got a leadership development yeah. going on with KU this year. And a whistle and a foul. And that's going to be on Jalen Wilson. That's his first. Take another look at it. He might have reached a little boy. So a little a little bit of contact, but you bring up that leadership in, in some ways these kinds of games you, you shouldn't as a player you shouldn't have to rely on coach Roberts to give you a rah-rah speech or to yell at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know it, it, This is where you got to be player-led Jalen Wilson's got to start barking Dewan Harris has got to start setting the tone He's got to heat up that other team's point guard It's, the, it's on the players to change it and the leaders in particular. Harris so far doesn't have an assist in this game. He does have one turnover. Harris turning the corner. 
and they come to guard him. If they don't, then he gets it to edge of four. That's it. It's pretty simple. You yeah. come up that on-ball screen, you take what the defense gives you. I like that. Just a good set from Norm Roberts. Yes, Afu. Wilson, little stutter step. Into the paint. Edge of four. Jalen Wilson making it look easy. That's off target. Here comes KJ. Possession from Edgerford defensively, really active. Yes, the food for three, no. Comes Healy. That long three by Barnes way off target. Probe so well, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Keeps that dribble alive. And that's an offensive foul on KJ Adams. That's oftentimes a moving screen. Sometimes that's on the ball handler as Harris kind of was kind of between using the screen and not, and you roll into the defense, and it's a moving pick. Only the fourth team foul on KU. Southern Utah only has five. With neither team in the bonus. With under two minutes to go in the first half. Coaches always talk about finishing halves strong. Feels like these final 90 seconds are important both ways. Shoot it and Tevian Jones is okay. I'll take it. He's airballed a couple, but trust me, he is not going to stop shooting. And you've got to break his rhythm, not let him line one up. Jones again. No. And that's a foul. Reach in on Anderson. Again, only the sixth team foul on the T-Birds. Might have been a pretty good foul to take as mm -hmm. there was a Southern Utah Redbird that was, or Thunderbird, excuse me, that was on the ground on the other end of the floor. So it was five on four for KU. Wilson from the wing, no. McCuller behind the back to Wilson again. Not that time. Steps back. And I think DeWan got a piece of that one. Wilson flying in. Wow. Uh, that is a big dude moving quickly in transition. Have fun stepping in front of him when he's got a head of steam like that. Use it or lose it timeout for Todd Simon and the tape and the T-Birds. Well, you said it, Dwan Harris absolutely got a piece of it. And look at this dude, Jalen Wilson. From Roberts has been talking about the hangover game. It's just been a little sloppy. I don't think there's any question about that. To turn the ball over at the rate Kansas has, got 10 turnovers. Mm -hmm. Like that's just not sharp mentally. This will be a shot clock violation. Great defense. Wait, there might be a foul. Are they going to call a foul or is that a shot clock violation? Got to be a shot clock violation. Maybe they think checking. so. Yeah, they're just going to check on that. That was really good. All right, so they're putting a couple of seconds back on the clock because of the shot clock violation. Grady Dick has checked back in. This is where I, I, I love... Just a little handoff for Wilson to get downhill with his right hand, get Grady Dick in the corner, in that right corner. 
That's the action I would run. All right, coach, we'll see what they do. Post up. They had two options there. Brady Dixon the outside, Jalen Wilson inside. And with that, Wilson and the Jayhawks go into the locker room with a two-point lead. Finish the half strong. Couple of good defensive sequences. A nice little step in for Jalen on the sidelines from here on out. See if Juwan Harris can really set the tone defensively, too. Say the third time's the charm, but not for Allen, and then he's whistled for the foul. That's a tough sequence. He said Allen got three great looks at it. That's where there's got to be some Jayhawks coming in to clean it up. And you've seen that a lot. Kansas has had guys leaking out before that ball is rebounded. Mm -hmm. Gotta have five guys get in the fight and corral the rebound before you go run. Dick in and out, no good. Maybe it was just me, but another three by Jones. That last possession, it just didn't seem the spacing was right for KU. Yeah. yeah. Too many guys too close to each other. Right. I got to get that ball swung from side to side and then attack. Just let Jalen Wilson take over. Absolutely. Just such good strength finishing through the contact. There's a lot of screens to try to get Jones free. Fawcett was six to shoot it away by K.J. Adams. Here comes Grady Dick. Wilson glides in. No. Fawcett with a rebound. So you got to find the shooters. Get matched up. Butler hasn't poked away. It'll stay with Southern Utah. So communication is really important when you're when you're playing with KJ Adams at the five. You can switch a lot of these screens, but you got to talk your way through it because ultimately you want to keep a guy like Kevin McCullough Jr. locked on to Tevion Jones. You don't want to get him switched off because he can shoot over the top of people, but you got to communicate. Shot clock at seven. Pass inside, kicked away. Grady Dick has it poked away, but it was last touch by Allen. It'll stay with KU. That's where usually Kansas is really good. These special situations getting points on base and out of bounds situations. Trying to get that lob to KJ Adams, but that was well scouted as it was. Three pointer, no good for McCuller. Seven and the soft touch to put it off the window. And he had 28 on the road at New Mexico. He could really score. Wilson. No 
when he just kind of spins around the defense like that, and just wide open. Yeah, that was something you saw a lot from Ochai Abaji, that little curl mid-range jump shot. Wilson knocking one down there. Need a little run here to get the crowd going. And runs usually start on the defensive side, like this. Defense by Allen. It'll stay with KU. Taking a look at it, Jalen Wilson. You see him in the right block, so he's going to start with the post up, and this is what makes Wilson tough to deal with. You're dealing with the post up, he fakes and comes off. Did a good job doing his work early. That's all set up before the screen comes. Good hard jab, little misdirection. Job from Jalen Wilson scoring with some movement off the ball. color and it's picked off. It looked like it could have been a travel, but nothing called. And Spurgeon, another turnover leading to a basket for Southern Utah. Well, these first five minutes haven't really gone as scripted, and that'll be a foul on Spurgeon. Well, we talked about it. Taking care of the basketball, the number one thing to address at halftime. Spurgeon with the steal. of pressure really swings towards Kansas. But you brought it up. I, I think this thing's got to get started on the defensive end. you got to impose your will on that end of the floor and get out and get some easy ones in the open floor. Billy Wilson with 19 points now in the game. Some we haven't seen is some full court pressure just to try to maybe change the complexion of this game. Here it comes, just trying to pick up and fuse some energy. Mm -hmm. They love to throw those passes down the wings on the full court. And there's a group rebounding. First, first time I've seen that tonight. Three Jayhawks there to rebound that ball. Jones. Wow. That was a big step by Harrison Butler. Just not a lot of rim protection. The 13 blocks against Duke. And the block shots kind of been non-existent tonight for the Jayhawks. Softly. Probably going to put Uday in a ball screen here. Now we're ready to hedge and recover. Good deny from Harris. Blows up the play. Foul up. And a foul. I think it's going to go on Jalen Wilson. And it'll be his second. His second personal foul. You know, Dave, when you're undersized, you got to be able to finish sometimes off rhythm. He's able to get this up before that other foot hits the ground because you know the shot blocker's coming. And he knows how to get shots off in the trees. And all the while when he's doing that, he's looking to see where the defender goes. Could be a lob pass. Yes, or a kick out to the three-point line. Follow up. Goes right up and under Uday. Fala played on the Iranian national team in the FIBA World Games under 19. He averaged 14 a game. He's pretty crafty down in the block. Rice. Not shy about shooting. Uday going for the rebound. It's a tie-up, and the ultimate possession arrow will give it to KU. Yeah, right now... Somebody for KU's got to think about making a play for one of their teammates. A good hard screen, a penetration kick. Everybody trying to... They're moving the ball, but it's a lot of it's resulted in one-on-one. -on -one. Juan Harris, a 
is imposing his will on this game right now. Pettiford staying in front of his man. And the rebound falls into the arms of Fala. A rotation rebound. You go for a block shot, you don't get it. You got to have multiple guys rotating to the rim. Wilson. Nope. The rebounding. I, I'm not seeing guys flying to the glass right now. AJ Adams and Falla fighting for position down there, and Adams with the foul. That'll be the third team foul on KU this half. Excuse me, the second. Brady Dick's going to check back in. Jalen Wilson will get a breather. It's been challenging to figure out the right combination of guys tonight, which five works. Boy, these are this is just effort. Yeah. You gotta you gotta have guys blocking out. You gotta have guys crashing the glass, especially when you're playing small, Dave. There's not any big on the floor. They walked through that play at shoot around, didn't execute it right. The There's Rice guys. going back. Do you see Rice yep. heading back the other way instead of going in securing the ball first? Yeah, you've had multiple guys leaking out and not staying in the fight to rebound. So Fawcett drips one home. You know, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> like that. I just couldn't. I just, that's good. I, just, I, I like it. No, but it's one thing, you know, when you go gas the Bukis on the floor, you can go, oh, he's going to get the rebound, so I can leak out. Yeah. Not the case with this small ball lineup. you got to have five guys thinking about rebounding the ball. Jones for three, no. Inside position, but KJ able to pick the pocket. Two-pointer, no. Job by Southern Utah to run Grady Dick off the three-point line, make him shoot a contested two instead of the rhythm kick out three. Fade away for Jones now. KJ Adams secures the rebound. Here comes Dewan Harris. They leave him wide open for three. No, that was dancing all over the rim. Are you still trailing by two? The crowd is growing anxious. Fall up. Great rebound by Harris. And a drive. Reach in on KJ Adams. I don't know. Put his fingerprints on this game, scoring the ball to tie the game. Can each add to the discussion here? Yeah, Norm Roberts wanted KJ Adams to be more active on the offensive end to set as many ball screens as possible, making Spurgeon run all over the place and getting him out of the paint to allow the Jayhawks to attack the rim, guys. Missed three opportunity for Jones. It's for KU, the 11 minute mark to take the lead. Original starting five out there for KU right now. Wilson got bumped, didn't matter. Well, that's my favorite set Kansas runs. A little handoff with Wilson coming with his right hand with a shooter in the corner. Really, really tough to guard. And a bad pass from Spurgeon. So take a look at this. You just got Grady Dick in the corner, so that whole right side is wide open. The defense doesn't want to step off Dick because he's a good shooter, and Wilson's able to take advantage of that real estate and lay it in. Harris again. Not this time, and boy. Spurgeon got away with an elbow, and Wilson will make him pay. 
There we go. Brady Dick got a hand on that one. And somehow it goes in for the T-Birds. A big basket. This place was rocking. That five-point lead was the biggest of the night for KU. Brady Dick. Good hard cut and a great pass from Adam. And look at that hustle. It's another safety or cornerback. I think he got one in Grady Dick. <laughs> Break up the pass. He listened to the scouting report today. They were talking about how the Thunderbirds on their fast break like to throw it down the sideline to guard the sideline. And that's exactly what Grady Dick did there. It's got to be almost three seconds. McCullough with a rebound. Different flow of the game all of a sudden. Yes. McCuller from Brady Dick. And in the words of Bob Davis, the Hawks are cooking. Well, what a great pass from Brady Dick. Good cut from Kevin McCuller Jr. And this crowd is really really loud right now they've been sitting on their hands quite a bit of the game and really finally something to cheer about as the jayhawks have opened up a seven point advantage harris has been all over the place active deflections scoring pushing it and it seems like everyone else is kind of playing off that cue yes now defensively there's nothing like getting in a stance when 16,300 people are willing you but can you channel that energy with intelligence? Don't necessarily try to go for a steal, but be solid. And one. KJ Adams went for the block, and Drake Allen will go to the line. Dave, I don't know why. Uh, you got to pressure the ball, but don't go over a ball screen 60 feet from the basket. That creates the five on four advantage. Dewan Harris needed to pressure, pressure, then get under that screen. Foul. It's been called on Fawcett. They said Fawcett, but I believe the foul was on Spurgeon. Should have been on Spurgeon. Yeah, it yeah. was on Spurgeon. Yeah. Back to that handoff action with Grady Dick in the corner and Jalen Wilson driving it. on the shot that time from Dewan Harris. Jones has been kind of silent for a while. Long three, no. KJ Adams, good job of boxing out. Wilson, goodbye. Oh, KJ Adams. Harris, bad pass. Tried to go for the hero jam and lost the handle, but there was Healy to get a cup to lose chain. Dave, there's got to be Jayhawks trailing the play. There yeah. were three Southern Utah Thunderbirds there and no white jersey across half court. They might see that play again in film session. We got a timeout, 7.55 to go. Jayhawks with a little bit of breathing room, leading by three. It's a job of it, but to me, Jalen Wilson, he's got 25 points. He makes his free throw, he's got a new career high. 
Got to continue to get him touches, Dave, down the stretch. It's been a long time since he scored 25. Oh, wait, that was just the other night against Duke. <laughs> So that was his previous career high. He needs one more free throw to do that. The other thing Kansas needs to do is rebound the ball defensively. Ten offensive rebounds for Southern Utah. 13 to two second chance points for the Thunderbirds. Mm -hmm. Got to finish the possession with a rebound. Anderson. Point. Are you kidding me? It's got to be communication. That should have been a switch. That's Brady Dick and Bobby Pettiford in a ball screen. You've got to switch it and communicate it. You were a little late, and then you give up a three. Wilson left open. Again, no rebound there. And, that, and that's not Jalen Wilson's shot. He's much better getting downhill. Long three this time off target for Fawcett. Here comes Wilson. Side, but Edgefor wasn't looking for it. I'm not sure Kansas has completed one lob tonight. No, they're, they're really lacking on that particular play this this evening. Jones, a little bit strong, out of bounds. It'll go to KU, clinging to a one-point lead with six and a half and some change to go. It's just see how long Norm Roberts goes with Juan Harris on the bench and KJ Adams. It's an important couple of minutes here. Big decision. You want to give Harris a, a break? He's cramping at the end of that Duke game, so you don't want to rev the engine too hard because he's going to have to finish this game and come back and finish the final five minutes. Oh, played at the. Bill Self, Kansas State, will hit that little high post back door. McCullough. Wilson. Would have been and one, and a foul called on Butler. Dave, we were doing this 20 years ago when Bill Self got here, starting every practice with it, just hit that high post. Back door, I'd lay it in. I wouldn't dunk it, but Jay, <laughs> is a little bit different. But that's good execution in a big moment from Kansas. Wilson with a career high 27 now. He's averaging almost 22 a game. Grady Dick will get a breather, and here comes the aforementioned Dewan Harris. Good little. He had the timeout. You let him sit for another minute. Now he'll close out the game. Thunderbirds brought Trey Gallon back into the game, too. McCuller on Jones. Whoa. Edge of four just smothered that ball. Wow. The volleyball spike right there from Edge of four. That was impressive. Jones throws up an air ball. Man, an illegal screen. Yep. Edge of four was moving. It's the second time that's happened. Where because the defender's going under the screen, when Edgefor rolls, he's kind of rolling into him. It's a tough call. See that? Because it ends up looking like it. Yeah. You can't just keep moving and no. shoving your arms forward. Extend That's your an arms. easy call for the official. It's the second moving screen of the game.
for the rebound. Just haven't come down into the lap of the Jayhawks, and there's a foul on Pettiford. Southern Utah's owned the glass tonight. They're winning the battle on the boards, and they're winning the battle on the offensive boards, and it's one of the challenging things with playing small. And you got to have multiple guys thinking about rebounding. can be hard for a guy like Jalen Wilson such a good rebounder he's got six tonight but he's having to do so much offensively he's gotta be able to do it in a rebounding column as well Bala will come out and Spurgeon will check back in for the Thunderbirds who are still in this game it's a one possession game three-point lead for KU nearing the five-minute mark Southern Utah right now needs to there's somebody to knock down a three. You know, that's kind of been the play. Wilson. 30 now. Another bank three by Fawcett. Good. All started with the post up, posting up Bobby Pettiford attracted the weak side and a couple bank threes. You're too young to remember the movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. But in that movie, they just kept saying, who are these guys? And that's what you feel like with the Thunderbirds. Step back three, no. And it goes out of bounds. Color over here talking to one of the officials saying he was flopping. And remember, this this season there's no flop warning. If the officials see a flop, it's an automatic Class B technical foul, one shot in the ball. So what's interesting is that one shot or that one penalty does not count against either the player or the team. And there is a foul this time on Butler. Uh, the butler did it. <laughs> I don't blame the butler holding this. <laughs> yeah, number 10 in white, Jalen Wilson really got it rolling. That's 16 fouls now, so both teams will now be in the bonus. I'm trying to get Wilson the ball. Get him going downhill. Don't settle. Is that on a shot? We'll see. Or is that a pass? Well, we'll figure it out when we come back. 3.50 to go to Juan Harris and the Jayhawks. But Southern Utah is really packing in the lane. You just get the sense that somebody, and you'd like it to be Grady Dix, probably going to have to knock down a jump shot on a penetration kickout. But first, got to try to establish Wilson. points of the game. And it's a one-point game. Well, it's got to be Wilson. It's got to be Wilson. A little pin down, a little handoff. And let Wilson make the decision. Good defense from Southern Utah. Seeing the 
dunk down late. Three minutes to go. The crowd on its feet. One and done this time for the T-Birds. Yes, he did. First, Kevin McCullough Jr. This pick and roll doesn't always have to be a lob. Just probes in, little dump down, KJ Adams finishes, and then this has been the pep play. Little handoff. Grady Dick is in the corner, so Jalen Wilson's got all that space to operate, takes his time, and finishes. 33 points for Jalen Wilson. And a good call from Norm Roberts going with the pep play to get Wilson the rock. Six point advantage. Jones, no. Fight for the rebound. Tip. KU. McCullough okay over there? Take another look at it. Game on the line, going after it. Yeah, he took a shot to the face, but mm. great hustle. I think he bit his lip. A great play from Kevin McCullough Jr., though. He's asking Gary Maxwell, the official, is my lip still there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good. All You're right. Good. All right, I'm ready to go. Let's see if that hurts. See if Coach Roberts wants to come right back to the same look. Yeah. Will, Grady Dick's in the right corner. You get Wilson the ball, get him going downhill. Hey, Wilson's got 33 points. There he goes again. This time the lob. And the Jayhawks have their biggest lead of the game. Nice move by Allen. That stops a 7-0 run for KU. In and out, no good for Grady Dick. Jones with a head of steam, and he's fouled on the play. Uh, really good execution, a big moment. Pick and roll, throw it up. That's not an easy finish in traffic. And so many guys think about trying to dunk it. K.J. Adams thought about catching and finishing. That's really good read from Wilson and finish from Adams. Wilson, by the way, his third. Tevian Jones, great first half, been slowed a little bit here in the second half. He does have 21 for the game. Well, it'll take a wild guess where this ball is probably going. <laughs> Southern Utah probably going to try to make someone else make a shot. The double doesn't matter. Oh, Wilson, though, short armed it just a little bit. Here comes Jones again. Kind of put his shoulder down and a blocking call against Grady Dick and a possible three point play for Jones. Well, Allen and then Jones twice and done a nice job pushing it in transition, but Jalen Wilson falls down, falls to the ground, and now you're in trouble. It's 5 1 4. Good pitch ahead pass and a good attack from Jones. It's not over yet, folks. A minute to go in a one-point game. 
Looks like Coach Roberts wants a timeout. All things through. Wow. You got to hand it to the Thunderbirds. Honestly, they come into a hostile place, and they've played well tonight. Might have to make the play passing the ball, but this ball is going to Jalen Wilson. Southern Utah on a 7-0 run to get back within one. team needs it Grady Dick delivers a little sidestep he's confident he's been in this spot drills it and then how about Harris getting the charge on the other end of the floor a lot of game left though got to have some poise up for 35 seconds to go Morning as he steps over the end line, Butler. And Kansas has one timeout left. You get in a bind and call timeout, but get the ball to Harris, get out of his way. And a foul on Allen. That'll put McCullough at the line. He's an 80% free throw shooter this year. That'll be it for Butler. Actually, Drake Allen, or Drake Allen, excuse me. Yep, he fouls out. I don't think they've gotten a word to him yet. And now he's like, what, me? Oh, all right. Amount Anderson will take his spot. And uh, Kansas got to communicate. You're going to switch all five screens. You're going to press out. McCullough shooting two. His first free throws of the night. The senior transfer from Texas Tech. Drake Allen's been the primary point guard ball handler, so he's out of the game. It'd be a little disjointed. Got to talk if you're Kansas. Find that guy. Fires up a long three. No, Harris. And he'll go to the line. Well, you can start breathing a little bit of a sigh of relief. It's not over yet, but it's looking better and better. Harris, that ties a career high for him. It'll be the third time in his career with 14 points. Still the two possession game. Harris poked that one away. And it was last touched by Jones. Again, Dewan Harris. He's a big difference maker over the last eight minutes or so. Yeah, it took a charge a couple plays ago there. Pokes it free. Creates a turnover. And he's needed to score. He's done that. He stepped up big time. Wilson just trying to play keep away more than anything. Back off now. 
And the Jayhawks survive a scare from the Thunderbirds. No doubt about it. Big time players stepped up down the stretch. Grady Dick delivers a huge three late. Jalen Wilson, another monster game, a new career high, 33 points.